Hello and welcome to another edition of Ease Art Tips. Today I'm going to talk to you about making a book dummy. Now this is a book that already came out. It's published by Simon & Schuster and was written by Jane Nolan. I illustrated this a few years ago. And it's a board book, a really sweet little board book. I'll show you a few pages. But before it went to the publisher, I made a book dummy and that's how we actually sold it to them. So I've printed out a few pages so that I can show you how you put together a book dummy. What you'll need also is a glue stick or some removable double-sided tape and an X-Acto knife and of course a good ruler. All right, so I've printed out pages of the original story. You can tell that the cover actually changed quite a bit to the uh, printed version. What I did is I laid these out in Photoshop. So you can see the frame that I put. I laid all of my art into this template so that I would have actual um, lines to guide me when, my, when I go cutting these out. Now I'm not gonna talk while I cut these out because you can see I've got quite a few to go through and not all of them are finished art. In fact, most of them are black and white art. When you're doing a dummy, you really only need to have about two or three finished pieces of art inside. There's one. There's two. I have a few more than that, but you really only need about that many. Because the whole idea is to get the concept across to the art director and the editor. There are inevitably going to be changes to the final manuscript, as you just saw even with the cover. So you don't want it to look too finished, because if it's too finished, it looks done. And then what are they there for? That's their job, is to try to help make this the best it can be and to bring it to finish. So. Remember, it's a team of people that does this. It's not just one or two. At any rate, I'm gonna cut these out and I'll show you the next step. I actually prefer a metal ruler and you just found out why. My plastic ruler, this blade is so sharp, I actually cut some off of there. Don't wanna do that. However, this one's a little bit easier to deal with than my big metal one, so I'm gonna to try to use this one. As you cut them out, place them upside down in the corner of your board so that they stay in sequential order. If you're wondering, this green grid that's underneath, this is actually a cutting mat. I use this surface on all of my drawing pads or all of my drawing tables. It's a fantastic surface. It's very forgiving. This spread actually became stingrays in the final book. Notice how I'm cutting and how I'm holding my ruler. When I cut, my fingers are away from the edge. Everything I'm doing is trying to make sure I don't actually cut myself. Don't want to do that. When you make a book dummy, you only work with copies. You never want to work with your original artwork. Things can get lost, they can get destroyed. Agents, editors, and publishers expect to see copies of your work, never to see originals. And after all, the final stage is going to be a printed piece of your work anyway. Last one. I have an article on my website about making picture book dummies. I'll link to that in the um, description of my video below. Okay, so everything's cut out and it's about the same size. So the next step is gonna seem kind of strange. We don't deal with the cover yet, so we're, I'm gonna put that aside. It's all about the interior. We want everything to be opening like a book, so we're actually gonna fold it like this. However, my template isn't gonna be visible when I fold it like that, and it is visible like this. So my first fold is going to be like this. It's important that you get this lined up just right. Even more importantly, this needs to be a really tight crease. This is where your nails come in. If you don't have nails, you can use a bone, bone I forget what they're called, I'll figure it out. So the end result is like that, and the art is inside. So as I do this, I'm going to put them to the side like that. So there's a funny story behind the making of this book. I had created a sketch Bible, which is, I'll show this to you in another video. I had made a sketch Bible where I had drawn various items and I showed it to Jane and she went through it and in seeing all of the drawings in there, she said, oh, here's a story, and here's a story, and here's a story. My husband and I went to lunch, and by the time we had gotten back from lunch, she'd written them all, because that's what Jane does. 
You might know Jane Yolen. She's written over 400 books. She is actually the Hens Christian Anderson of our time. Very honored to be associated with her and call her friend. So I actually did this dummy and created the artwork as part of my MFA at the University of Edinburgh, and it was part of my senior show. And lo and behold, it got picked up by Simon & Schuster, and it's now a book. I'll put a link to where you can get it below, hopefully from your local independent bookstore. I could use your help right now. I have made a lot of book dummies in my time. Last one. So here's our interior. And not too bad. Looks like they're mostly pretty even. And the exterior, the cover, is very different. So this is why I saved it for last, because the interior is all facing inside, obviously, but the cover is facing outside. And while it's the same size here, you can see now we have a spine. We've got some width we have to deal with. So first we're going to use this fold. But then we're gonna need a second fold to go around the spine. Now I usually just kind of eyeball this. It looks to be, I don't know, about a quarter inch. You can do this. coming in off the bottom there and pushing this up. See? So we end up with a bit of a spine. Now that said, when we glue this all together, that back is not going to go all the way to the end. That's okay. If it's a problem, if it really bothers you, you can print this out again and paste on a new back. But a a dummy is really just meant to give the publisher an idea of what you have in mind. So something as simple as this is fine. This isn't even the full size of the book. You can see that. That's the full size. So as long as it's the right proportions that you have in mind for the book, that's fine. But now we need it all to glue together. So there's one more step we've got to do. And this is the one where people get a little bit mixed up. So this is the back, this is the front. I've kept an eye on that. You wanna make sure you're getting that right. This is our open side. All you need is to be able to have the spine hold together well and have people be able to turn the pages easily. So this is where our glue stick comes in. Now you can use a glue stick or removable double-sided tape. The removable is key because if you screw up, you wanna be able to take it off. So I like to put some paper underneath this and luckily I have tons because of what I just cut and I'm just going to run it right along the spine first and then I take my next page make sure it's the right one yes it is and here's where you've got to get it right you don't place it from the outside edge, you place it from the spine. The reason is things are gonna start moving and shifting just enough that you're gonna get a sway one way or the other. So where you don't want to have the sway is on the spine. So this is where you're going to come in and make sure you get it lined up just right with that spine. Glue sticks are slightly forgiving and so is double-sided tape and this is why you use that. Make sure it's right on top. Once you've pressed that down, you wanna make sure that these two pages are glued together. They just, they just need a little tack in the corner. That'll be enough for them. And you just build from there. Double check your pages every time, make sure it's the right one. Get a new piece of paper. Again, we have plenty because we trimmed all that. I'm gonna work off this side so I can really keep an eye on this on this spine. You can see this is where having those seams really tight comes in handy. If they're not tight, this can get really messy in the spine, which can screw up how straight everything is. You can also see I'm working from back to front. And see how it's already trying to sway a little bit? I'm trying to fix it with every one that I put on top. Last one. That's something you'll say a lot in the middle of making dummies. It just takes patience in a little time. Okay, so there's my interior. It doesn't look like much right now from the outside, 
Now we're gonna put the cover on it. Same thing with the cover. I want it to match right up against the seam. But here I might use a little bit more of the glue stick. That's the front. And that's the back. Now you can see even using a template and even being as careful as I was, I still have a few little straggles of where it wasn't quite straight. So you don't cut them down until you get to this point. Now you really do need a metal ruler because you might have to cut kind of hard. I'm really leaning against my metal ruler. There will reach a point where you're trying to cut off things that are so thin it just is nearly impossible. You would need an industrial cutter to be able to pull it off. So that's when you say, I think it's good. There we go. For instance, that top right there, there's no way I'm ever gonna get that as close as I can get it. So that's good. Always put the lid back on your X-Acto knife so that nobody gets into trouble. And on your glue. So that's how you make a dummy. Easy peasy. And now you can just flip through it and you can send this off to an editor if you need to, or a publisher, and they will get an idea of what you have in mind for the book. And so that's what we did. We sent that off, and look what came out of it. Does it pay off? I like to think so. I hope you'll check out Merbaby's Lullaby. It's available in your bookstores, and if it's not there, please ask them to bring it in so that you can enjoy it with your kid. It's a great little lullaby uh, story, a bedtime story. And Jane's, of course, wonderful at writing these and novels and articles and poems and you name it. At any rate, I hope you've learned a little bit of something about how to make a book dummy. They're not that hard. They just take time and a little bit of patience. And I know you can do it too. So thank you for watching Ease Art Tips. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.